Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel uh, like the videos just give you a good vibe or an uplift that you truly need it, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. Uh, the video I'm doing right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's universe set the bait, uh, set the trap, and they fell for the bait. Now you know the truth. It's true. A lot of times it's just like so many different things is going on in the world and you're really trying to feel like... Um, you know, is this for me? Is this, you know, these people in my life, are they being genuine? Or, you know, is what kind of intentions is this going? Is, am I going in the right direction? All these different things. Universe will set baits for all the time. You know, if you ever heard that, that saying goes, you know, if you ever question somebody's intentions with you, you know, just give it time. You'll see, you know. Um, and those are the different things that... Uh, that comes into your life where, you know, um, Universe will place different things in your life... Um, to where you see what what true intentions are with people and a lot of times it's like you, you can see yourself with people there's there's people that i've seen in my life that you know i mean i grew up with i was uh adopted into a military family so we we stayed you know all over the place from germany all the way to texas to oklahoma then south carolina north carolina all those different places and it's just like um uh, you know you're going through all those different things and um so you you experience a lot and so it's just like with me going through that there's a lot of people that it, i forgot what they call it it's like the buddy system i guess it is because it was just like some people that i was friends with for years you know our families always got stationed in somewhere you i think they were on the buddy system because i think they were in the same mos because it's like my mom's ex-husband was like alpha two three so uh he was going through all those different things we go through that and it'll be different people that, you know, I've known for years because of the military base that, you know, we were at. And it, it would just seem like when my um, spiritual awakening came in, it'll be the people that I love, I care for. You know, I still to this day, you know, uh, when it was just like when my truth came out, the things that I was going through, the experience that I experienced. When I tell you people were dropping out my life like flies when I needed them the most. And then it will be different things where universe will give me different insight on something that I went back. I mean, he'll go back. <laughs> he don't go back on telling me different things. It's like, this is what happened. This is what happened. And Or you even if, even if it's, it'll be just like if you're that type of person that have, um, like, for example, you have Facebook. And you go through Facebook memories. And there'll be different things. You could have been posting something that you were so happy about. I remember when I was on my weight loss journey. And I was like almost 200 and some pounds. And then I lost over 100 pounds within a year. And I mean when I tell you I was like rock hard bod. You know there was so many different people like Rosalind. You were an inspiration. Rosalind you did this. You did that. You know oh my god. you Because I always my weight would fluctuate. I can gain so much weight. Because it was like when I was I came here. You know I was like a fitness geek. And then it was just like when I got around certain folks, they, it was like they hated on that. So they kept on trying to feed me all the time because they knew I wasn't used to southern food and that mess was good. And my butt got a little fat. So, you know, I blew the heck back up again and had to go back through that again. So it, it was just like when I went back to my, you know, went back in my memory since I'm woke now. I've been through a lot of different experiences where it shows you toxicity. It shows you where envy, the vibes of envy. And, you know, even when people don't say nothing, it's like that silence, just the way they responded to you. It speaks so many volumes of words and I can go back where I can sit up here and see oh lord that was showing me right then and there and it was just like me being cocky you know they would say one thing I was like oh you know it was like oh you know girl you look good you know it's like your outfit looks great you know it's like we you know we're loving your size you you know you don't know, went into a glow up and so I like, oh nice shoes nice hairstyle and I'll bust out laughing I'm like oh thank you you know this and this and this and that and I realize it you know I don't know back then I don't know if I caught on to it but that was just like I look back at it and I just had to bust out laughing you know and I still see it you know there would be different things where I appreciate it you know I had to really appreciate it because before it, it, it would be so hurtful like these are the people that I stood by these are the people that you know I thought was family you know and seeing different things that was taking place and um 
and so many different things and next thing you know it, it was just like when when that truth projected out it, it was just so many people that had their say you know or people were like Rosalind is this true is this true I'm like yeah it's true you know I didn't want to admit it but yeah it's true you know and then I'll start getting those side eye looks and stuff like that or it was different people that knew my truth and they start you know oh yeah it's true she did it you know and it would be so many different things where you know it was hurtful for me because there would be people that knew about my situation and I didn't know and there will be different people that didn't know about my situation and were shocked and they didn't want to believe it until the people that knew my situation confirmed it so it was like universe set that bait out there for me to really see the true intentions of people that I thought they really truly loved me you, you know it can be people that I seen as godparents you know you know you you grow up in um different cultures you know um in mine it's like if I grew up with you I seen you as an uncle or an auntie you know and I had so many different things of that and it was just like people that just knew me since I was like knee high to a June bug whatever they want to call it you know it's just like when they found out you know they just really just dropped me and it was just like okay I needed that you know and it got to that point where it's happened so much it it, it became a, it, it became a norm for me what was it surprising for me is when you stack was stuck around and you supported me now that was the that was the kicker right there which shocked me you know and it was no true and you know there was no hidden intentions and it, it was like you really wanted to see me you know reach my pinnacles you really wanted to see me get my blessings so it, it's just like when you go through different stuff like that universe set a bait up for you you know, there'll be different things that, you know, if universe has something good for you, he wants to be able to eliminate anything that is going to mess up. Somebody going to take advantage of you. Somebody going to mess up your stuff or, you know, just try to sabotage it in some kind of way. He will show you different things. People can be very over complimentative, you know, just this and this and that. I'm like, dang, okay, get off the nut set please <laughs> you know if you're just like why are you doing this why if you laughing at stuff that you ain't really being funny about me <laughs> i'm like you want that damn funny with you? you know and you can tell it's like you you overly doing stuff you know and it'll be different things when you're growing you'll see how different times certain things will intimidate people just because of the growth that you have and they will allow you to see that you know i've seen it i've seen dealt with it with different um you know um channels <laughs> you know and they showed it to me and it was just like i went through it a while back and then you know same thing with the same person happened again and i'm just like oh my god you, I, I forgot all about you until you you know you brought it back up to my attention and it was like okay i needed that you know and it, it was crazy because there'll be different things that'll come in and it's just like you know universe is placing a bet for the people that don't care for you the people that's hating on you the people that don't have good for you you know you find that truth out and that truth can really hurt at times and you're like why did you you know if this this would have never came out i would still have my friends but you your friends would have been fake you you would have had people around you that didn't have your best interests at heart you know these people you don't know what moves they were making when it when you weren't around you don't know what kind of words they were exchanging when you weren't around you know, there'll be different people that'll come up and tell you, girl or dude, hey, let me tell you what uh, such and such and such and such said about you. You're like, oh man, thanks for looking out. You know, that's how some people are. But the question is, you got to ask them, why were they so comfortable enough to say anything? You're supposed to be my friend. You're supposed to be my family. You're supposed to be my girl. You're supposed to be my man. This and this. Why they felt so comfortable with telling you something like that anyway? That's where my question is. And then when you get like that, they'll let you know when somebody comfortable enough. Because if they know that y'all tight like that, like y'all ace, y'all go back like four flats, you know, like that. And they say something like that for you. Trust me, that that's not the first conversation they done had about you. And that means that person went real with you in the first place. And you got like that, you know. And it's just like anytime that anybody becomes an enemy after y'all been friends so long, so long they were an enemy to begin with i mean i've had people I, i've helped out and just said hey you know you ain't got to pay this back you ain't got to do this it's just from from my heart because i knew what it'd be be like it, i mean i knew what it'd be like to be in your situation but it's just like if i it, you know if this comes up again and you live in good and i might be in your situation just help a sister out oh no problem no problem oh my god you don't even have to do this for me da, 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 da. next thing you know i got in that situation Oh, you, you oh, I, I can't do it. But you were just bragging about all the other stuff you were doing. And then you rubbed everything up in my face. And then you knew about my situation and didn't do anything. 
you know, or people been in friends and they know your situation. Well, in my situation, I was like, and then, you know, and you bring them all this, 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 that, and the third. And then you want to, oh, here, here's, here's five dollars. You know, you, you don't count it up on like six, seven digits worth of something. And you know, because it'll be like, hey, you know, I would have did so much for that person. But then, as the title on my other video say, don't expect you to come through you on other people. Just because you feel like that, you do stuff like that, don't mean other people will do that. But then it's just like when you go through that pain, you dust yourself off, you get back up, and you're going to appreciate that. You're going to appreciate that because they always tell you dark moments will expose the true intentions of other people. They can't be with you during that dark moment. They can't be there with you uh, trying to understand the midst of your struggles, you know. The midst of your struggles. Because a lot of times I notice a lot of empaths like me. You don't have jobs. You know. And they'll be like universe saying. No you aren't supposed to have a job. Because you about to do something on your own. You about to magnify something on your own. We got something planned for you. That's the reason why all these jobs that you get never work out. Or you know even since the pandemic and stuff. You've been trying to find jobs. Jobs ain't working out for you. You know you're trying to be able to get on your feet. And can't do it. But there's some kind of assistance that comes through. And helps you anyway. You know, and a lot of times it's hard for you to be able to trust in the universe when they're telling you, hey, leave that job. We see that you're miserable. We see that you don't like this. You see that, you know, they always write you up for insubordination just because you're being honest about the truth. Or just one day that you've been working hard 24-7. You could be at a job for 10, 15 years and you work your butt off. You see people lay off all the time. You see people just slacking every day. The one day you do that, all of a sudden everything's zeroed in on you. Why are you being lazy? I'm being lazy. Do you see how many times you know you don't went through in a job and shoot? You know I be want my forty acres in a dag on mule the way I'm. You got me parking up in here. You ain't paying me enough for the stuff that I'm doing. And then the one day I want to be lazy because I'm tired. Now all of a sudden it's a problem when other people do it every day. You know you go through different stuff like that. You know and it'll be different things that's going on into your life and it's just like universe is baiting you but they gotta bait for a surprise and just like you know with, with the people that's around you gotta bait for the surprise cause it's just like they tell you when when you go through stuff and they can't be there for you they'll give every, when you needed loyalty and love people chose distance and disrespect and you gotta be able even though that mess can hit you and it can hit you hard it can be adding salt to a wound but it comes to that point God needed you to see the truth out of the individuals that you see as family you see as you know your life partner you seen as a husband you seen as a wife you seen as a baby daddy there was a potential husband you seen a baby mama as a potential wife you needed to see that you know success changes people money changes people you know don't be those ones when like i say when you got somebody is there for you and i mean there for you thick and thin you know just giving you that encouragement when you feel doubtful when you feel like giving up push you right back in the ring give you a towel you ain't done yet you almost done get back up in there you know but i'm tired go to sleep take a nap get back up start back over again i see this potential in you i see that light in you i see that go-getter in you i see that animal that's hungry for the fight i see all that stuff within you you know and those are the ones that god sent to help elevate you like i said before there'll be different things people will place into your life because they feel like if they don't support you god ain't gonna make it for you if they block certain things god ain't gonna make it for you you have to understand all your blessings is not based on other people's disadvantage or other people uh feeling like what you don't deserve and what you do deserve or other people just not liking you god don't base your blessings off of that he based your blessings off of your blessings being because the fact is you deserve it he sees the different things that you have gone through he sees the different things that has been set back he done seen the evil that came towards you you know the universe use that for your best good your highest good is bettering you you know, it is. It truly is. We can hate that everything that we go through in life. Why Why does life have to be so cold? Why do people got to be so hateful? Why do people got to be so mean? Why is it the fact is I don't support the people and they don't support me in the same way? Life is just like that. Life is just like that. The world can be really cruel. But just don't allow your butt to be, be that one that's adding to that. You that one that stuck out to make something totally different. You ain't you ain't following the crowd. You following the crowd, you get lost right clean in it. This is that, that one where it's telling you follow be your own drum. It's okay. Don't sit up here 
and do something because it's going to make somebody not like you because you're doing what's right. Or when you're standing up for yourself and then that person, if you don't do this, I don't need you doing that. I don't need you doing this because, it, it, you know, it, I don't like that. Oh, so you don't like me being good to myself, honest with myself, and standing on my own strength because it makes you feel some type of way. Oh, then you ain't you ain't part of me. You ain't a part of my tribe. <laughs> we, we don't need to be doing that. You can stay over there. That's fine. But I'm glad you showed me that. I'm glad you let me know that. You know, and those are the different things that goes on in your life where you got to see it. You don't know, you are, You don't realize, even when you feel like you can't make it through, even though you feel like I am, I'm not that person, I don't have, you know, that many people in my life. I don't, you know, I'm a loner, this and this and that. Why do people do that? Because they see something in you that you, they terrified that you might find out. You don't know, you walk around, you a triple threat. You can be quiet, you can be shy, you, you ain't putting yourself out there like that, and you could be a triple threat just for you walking in the room. Just because you're walking in a room. They always say if anybody get jealous or pissed off or fear because of your presence, either they fear you or they intimidate intimidated. Either or, there's something about you that they don't like and something about you that you had that they didn't. And there's something about you that you have something different than other people. And that's the reason why the universe sets those baits up for you all the time. Sets those baits up for me all the time. You know, and not realizing these are the lessons are learning. We're all teachers and students we are all learning from these experiences and we're growing by them some people get stuck by them some people grow by these things and these are the things that are appreciating to you and to your life and it will get to that point where you're going to be highly grateful highly grateful because a lot of time people will support you until they start seeing you as competition and then when they start seeing you as competition sabotage Sabotage time is coming. They roll in strength and numbers to try to make sure that they can make sure that you do not rise to your occasion. And that's okay. That is okay. They don't have to help you. They don't have to support you. You know, they don't have to help you get that call up or glow up. God will send they he will see potential blessings in your life of strangers that help you catapult way further than them people that you thought was gonna be by your side with. And those are the different things that's taking place into your life. There'll be a situation where you're gonna be appreciating the fact that God showed you who those who your who your um wolf and sleep sheep clothing clothing is. On that, it's like going through uh, my purging reflection. As soon as I said that, made my dad on nose itch. It showed me so many different things about people, and I used to get so angry when those memories would come up. And now it's at that point when they when they did used to come up, it would be like, wish that person well. Even though they, they put you through hell, wish that person well. Don't hold no anger against that person. Don't hold, don't hold no grudge against that person. Because we all fighting battles. And then it's just like with my situation, my luck, God will show me the insight on what they were fighting in the first place. And why they put me in their life. And what they just unblocked. You know? Because a lot of times you don't realize. Universe will send you in somebody's life for you to bless them. And just because of evil heart, a wicked spirit, jealousy, envy, comparison. They just unblocked everything that God was going to be working through you to bless them. And not realize that. And not realizing you've just been a blessing. They just showed you being a blessing towards you. Just because they showed you the true intentions of you. Of what they have that they felt about you. So you allow yourself to keep going. Whatever you're going through right now, and you really going through it with a lot of people, just it don't matter who it is. It don't matter who it is. If God took them out of your life, it's going to be there. And those are the different things that's going to take place into your life to help you grow. It's going to help you get to that next level. And those are the different things. But if they're not into your life, no matter who, it don't matter who it is. <laughs> Family, husband, wife, it don't matter who it is. Best friend, Ace Boom Cool, we've been to, we've been knowing each other for 115 years. It don't matter. If they weren't there during those dark times when God gives you that good time, they don't need to be there. Let them keep that same energy they had when they felt like you would never overcome. So I hope you were able to resonate with that con content of that video. Much love to you. I hope, you know, um... I hope everybody's having a blessed, prosperous week, you know, being productive and um, 
productive and motivated and determined to keep going through whatever you're going through. Like I said, I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. And it's all about spirit, spiritual networking, just being able to help you have a deeper understanding about your path and purpose. Oh, Lord, I'm getting downloads. Woo! Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> um, it's all about helping you have a deeper understanding about your path of purpose on the different things that is going on in your life and where you know why it happened, why is it taking place, and those different things that's going on. Um, and I'll try my best to be able to help out the best way I can to be able to give you that deeper understanding. Whatever we speak on is confidential. If you're ever interested in podcasts, I also have a podcast on my community section and on my um, channel as well. And if you're interested in even having podcasts and you never did it before, you know, get in touch with me. I'll, it's like where I'm at. It is totally fun. It's easy. You know, they, they you can get paid from it when you start, you know, being consistent with it. And then it's just the people on the app. They'll sit up here and, you know, spread the news about your, you know, your podcast and then send you frequent notifications on where they're sharing it at. So they can be able to help you out on that one too to be able to expand your fan base of listeners. So, you know, if you ever feel like you, you know, in the mood to do that, you know, get at me. I'll be able to help out the best way I can with that, too. And if you ever feel generous enough to, you know, give a donation, please, you know, drop drop one is in the cash app down there below. You know, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, I'm sending so many beautiful vibes to uplift to be able to get you there. And plus 100 million times full, I'm sending... You know, amplifying that towards a million, 20 million, 30 minute, whatever you need. You know, keep going. Stay persistent and consistent. Don't sleep on yourself. Stay woke. The devil's staying busy. He see your light and potential on every single thing you do. So he will do any and everything to make sure you can place death and doubt into your life and speak it on there. But you have to allow yourself to uh, not avoid it. No. You going about your, you go about your business. <laughs> it's like you got this. You got this. So you keep going. Stay persistent and consistent because he'll, he'll make you give up a day just because your blessings might fly through the door tomorrow. So you keep going. And even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, wide frequencies. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And just because you helped with not even wanting anything in return, it'll take you even further. So much love to you. Peace. Namaste. Shalom. Blessed be. Much love.